Hi everybody, this is Nancy from Creative Resources and Support and I am actually doing over a uh, video that I did on these uh, coloring cards. These happen to be Colorful Blessings and they are published by Christian Art Gifts. I got them from Amazon and I'll have links to that and a lot of other things when I actually get this online. Uh, I'm just going to, part one is just to show you the cards that I've done and especially the ones that I really like and uh, then the part two will be to show you a little more of the techniques, the pens and markers that I used and show you a little bit how I accomplished the ones that I did and especially the ones that I really like. Uh, I used a combination of alcohol markers, watercolor markers, uh, I had a few, one in particular that turned out really nice, the metallic color pencils. Uh, and you can use a lot of different things. Markers of some sort were the best. I would stay away from permanent, but we'll talk about that. Uh, so anyway, this is the Colorful Blessings, and I think uh, the, the, they do have uh, kind of parts of scripture verses on there, or sort of an inspiration from scripture on there, and uh, but they're not very preachy or anything like that. I think a lot of people could enjoy them, a, you know, a, uh, it just uh, very very good kind of inspirations and encouragement um, from the Bible so anyway so that's that now this is um, I just love these and I you can do them while you're watching TV which is a big big uh, a, a draw for me I use this and I, I have on the back of these what I used some of them I have on the back what I used um, but if you can see, let me get a little closer. So you see how pretty that color is? This one I used the Mars Graphic watercolor um, markers. And I think I used a liner pen too. So it just, I love them. I just love them. And again, this is watercolor, but you have a lot of control with it, which is what I like. And I am not a watercolor person or expert, although I'd like to get more skilled in it, but um, these you can kind of, you know how a lot of watercolor <laughs> until you really get your uh, control of skill with it, uh, it can be, you know, it does bleed into, it just does a lot of um, what water does. <laughs> so you have to learn a lot of uh, how to control it and, and everything. But with these markers, you know you don't have that problem as much and you can use a little spritz on it a little moisture on it to, to blend them and there's also a blender this is essentially a water blender that comes from, I don't know if Mars has it I had a 36 color one but anyway so that's one of them that I really like okay now this is one that I used with the metallic uh, pencils and uh, metallic color pencils and I'll give you the brand and everything uh, I just had bought these years ago a small set of them and they're really kind of pricey oh no wait a minute um, no that was another <laughs> set of color pencils I bought one time years ago uh, I didn't buy these too many years ago I got these at um, uh, their Derwent I believe um, and they're really pretty pricey the reason they were marked down so low is because uh, the lid came off and but all the pencils were there in perfect shape so I'm like I don't care that they don't have a lid but I will show you those um, later I'll show you all that in part two but when I do the techniques so anyway it's just again I'll get kind of close here so you can there little smudgy kind of you know and I just think it looks beautiful I love coloring because you really don't have to worry about drawing anything it's done for you uh, but that's not to take away from drawing drawing is a wonderful skill that um, I know I need to work on and there's there are it brings its own joy uh, and um, satisfaction I think when you can draw really well I, I, I can draw 
but it's a bit of a struggle for me. I really have to work at it really hard. I do faces um, pretty well, but uh, in perspective, I'm horrible at. Anyway, so I like the coloring. It it gets me to do. I can do art. I can work, mess around with color. It gets my mind off of things, and I can do it in front of the TV because <laughs> it doesn't take a lot of brain power. So this is one I really really love, and this this is a Spectrum Noir. Um, this red, a, a couple different reds. Most of this is Spectrum Noir, I think. Uh, but I love a, a deep red, kind of a scarlet red and um, green together. I think it, it always makes a nice combination. And again, I'll get a little closer on that so you can kind of see. Okay. Hope it's not too fuzzy. Doo -doo. Well, you know, I can bring this in and then it won't be fuzzy. Okay. See? Okay. And you can see the white highlight that I put I use. I'll talk to you about that. Okay. So there's that one. Alright. You are worth far more than rubies. And that's from Proverbs. And uh, so I thought a ruby, a real nice beautiful ruby red. I just love that ruby red. I mean that is a really pretty, pretty color. Okay. So there's that one. Now this one I really, really love, and well, I will say this, I just, I said I used alcohol markers, I have a number of brands, I use mostly Prismacolor right now, I have some Copics, and I have quite a lot actually of the um, Spectrum Noir, uh, and I got them because uh, they were marked down, uh, they, they've kind of gone up in price now because they've sort of rebranded themselves, but there's still a lot of the older uh, type around if you can find them on sale or something uh, they were the cheapest I got they, they sell in a, a group of colors like a color series six and I got them for seven eighty eight a pack at AC Moore which was wonderful but anyway um, I, I, I enjoy fabric and sewing which I want to kind of get back into a little bit but um, I love the bird theme here this is uh, made to be filled with joy that's from Colossians anyway uh, so, I, I would also advise people to get, if you're going to do a lot of coloring, get very some very light background colors, and um, then you can cover a large area. You see, you can cover a large area with that. Okay, and so isn't that just pretty, very pretty? And uh, this one, here's another thing that I do. I sometimes decide to use just a certain number of colors okay I'm gonna go try to do oranges in this one and and uh, yellows on that one and you know and kind of pick or even one from each color group or something and, and do it that way kind of a kind of a way to challenge yourself and um, but um, this I yeah oh this is alcohol markers so just pretty you know the Lord will be your light forever. Okay. That's a good thing. And um, so, anyway, there you go. Pretty. Okay. Another, uh, I think I used, yeah, I used alcohol markers. I knew that one. I have, there are a couple of alcohol markers, Prismacolor makes, that ballet pink and deco pink, the most gorgeous pinks. I just love them. I will always <laughs> have those. Um, but I wanted to go real soft on this one, so I did. Okay, and let me get in tight so you can see. And most of these markers have a pointed end on one end, a little bullet end, and then on the other, it's a, uh, a chisel. Or you can get a brush. They have two different types, at least Prismacolor does, other brands do. Co Co Copics are, of course, another very, very popular. And they are used really extensively for, uh, you know, <laughs> casual color, coloring people, uh, as well as people a little more serious. And then they're definitely used in the professional world um, a lot. And so are Prismacolor, but Copic, uh, Copics are refillable. And so I think for that reason, they're a lot more popular. But C Prismacolor and Copics are two, those are really the top two brands. Uh, not not necessarily 
um, overseas, because probably overseas, especially in Asian countries, because that's where they're made, Copics are probably going to be the big, you know, that's going to be the big uh, top brand. Anyway, you are loved by God. Okay. Um, yeah, and I, I use touches of other pins, too. I'll talk to you about that. This one I love, love, love. Uh, let me get out a little further. And this I did, yeah, they used the Mars Graphic Duo watercolor brushes. Uh, and then I used some the Perma Permapake White. I'll show you what that is it just to, so I can get some highlights. Um, so let me go in tight. There we go. See how I did that? And you, what you do to a good a rule of thumb is you darken when something is lower and might be shaded in nature it's it's on the lower part of the plant is a good sort of rule of thumb to make it darker you see here's the lower part of the plant of this flower I should say and then so I put some highlights up there because I'm just thinking okay maybe the lights hitting it up there <laughs> anyway it, it's good to have a variation of color going from dark to light with little touches of highlights, but don't worry about that. When you start um, coloring, just do it. Just get your markers and some, you know, uh, some paper if you want to just fool around on paper without the actual designs that you color in, but it's always fun to do that. And uh, I like to smudge other colors around. It just keeps it very interesting looking. So it's just a fun, fun thing to do. I think you'd uh, enjoy it, okay? It's brought me a lot of joy. Okay, now this one, I, I put this in here. This was not done with any kind of expensive markers. These were done with some Crayola markers, which are really, um, and maybe some Faber-Castell. I can't, they have a, they make a, you know, of course Crayola makes, well, they're expanding into the adult coloring, so they are making some, um, a little bit better, I guess, <laughs> uh, markers that are for uh, more of the adult uh, crowd. But their kids, uh, the super tips are, and I'll show you those later, are pretty good. And you can do some blending with them. It's just a little harder. You know, they don't, the pigment is not as high quality. Uh, it just doesn't quite do it like the premium brands do. Okay, but I think I did okay on here. And it was, you know, the colors are vivid and, and the bird turned out really nicely. So these I did with, with the cheaper ones, um, and you know, not bad. So, uh, and I love birds. Oh, I love birds in design. I mean, birds are beautiful, right? Okay, so, okay. Now on my next one, I really, really like this one. I will always love you. Okay, <laughs> there is no scripture that says that. But again, these are just sort of inspired by, oops, uh, by scripture. And uh, this one, I decided I'd do different colors. So you see my color combinations there. Some yellowy greens, you know, chartreuse, and and um, then blue, and then a lighter yellow with some orangey colors. And um, then I just did some subtle coloring uh, on his face. And again, shading and shadowing just adds such a nice, um, you know, it, it gives it a, anything you do um, depth, okay? So, but you can learn that, all right? And, and, um, and see, I put actually two colors on this. I don't know if the color shows up as well in this uh, video. But this is some, I don't know, pinky, light pink along with the green there. And again, I put darker down towards the bottom and then there's light right there in the middle of that. And it just makes a huge difference. But until you, you know, practice with that and do it, just don't worry about it. If you don't feel like you can do it, just get started. And, you know, I did a little darker over there. Uh, I don't really think about, I'm not... <laughs> I'm not so um, painstakingly detailed that I go, okay, which, um, on which side is the light shining? <laughs> you know, so I'm not, I, I, I'm not uh, uh, a professional like that in that sense. But uh, anyway, it's fun. It's fun and you don't have to, you know, be painstaking with it uh, to enjoy it. Okay, 
Here's another one, lots of reds and greens, and lots of soft. That's a little darker pink, but soft. It's just, uh, and you know, you, you can just be as detailed about these things. I mean, there's a lot of detail in, in many of these, but you don't have to, to be as detailed with it, okay? Be as detailed as you want, and I'll show you how you can do that. And this one, I did use alcohol markers, but um, primarily. But I also used, uh, I used the Faber-Castell um, fine line. I'm coming. Okay. And um, so that's what I did there. And this I'd use some cheapies, but they came out okay. I kind of messed up the paper here. But um, anyway, that's that. Uh, but still, you get nice color. You just don't, the blending just isn't as good. Okay? But it's pretty. Hey, it's pretty. And if it's pretty, that's about all that matters to me when I'm doing something for casual. But I will, and that's a good place to stop because I've done a lot more. But that's it for now. And I will come back later and I'll put my pretty one there on top. And I'll show you more about how I did all this. And, um, that's it for now, and I'll come back for, or stay tuned right after this for part two. Okay, thanks, and please remember to like and subscribe. Thanks a lot. See you soon.